Welcome to our tutorial about end caps. I'm going to start by activating the end cap tool on the weldments tab. First thing to do is select the faces. I'll select this face and this face here also. A preview appears in yellow. The next parameter is inward or outward thickness direction. Inward's on the right and the outward is on the left. Let's select inward. An end cap with an inward thickness means that the end cap won't extend past this edge of the face of the structural member. Now I'm going to select the thickness of the cap and the offset value. We can use a distance or a thickness ratio. Let's set a distance of one millimeter. And let's click OK to demonstrate how it looks. Basically, right now we've got a one millimeter offset between these two faces. Let's right click on our end cap, edit feature. Now let's see how the use thickness ratio option works. I'm going to leave it at one and click OK. Now the distance between the cap and this face equals the thickness of the structural member. We're editing our feature again. Let's set it to zero, OK. And basically now these two faces are coplanar faces. Let's edit the feature again. Check here to chamfer the corners of the end cap. Let's set the chamfer distance value to four millimeters, tap and OK. And here is our new end cap with chamfered corners. This concludes our lesson about creating end caps.